everybody how you doing uh good to see everybody in person you know not on the zoom call so it's welcomed a lot better with those those silly headphones on my head but uh you know we're excited we have a good really good offensive group coming here uh we're gonna work them hard one day at a time we're not looking too far in the future you know we just want to get better at the little things so that you know come that denver preseason game we're on top of our stuff so with that any questions yeah, you know, it's gone smooth because, uh, you know, Coach Dennison's still part of our staff and uh, his assistant, Coach Phil, that moved up, you know, he's been with us for many years and, uh, you know, he was with Rick in lockstep last season. Um, you know, I really see it as an opportunity to gain an extra coach now that we got Coach Steele here um, from, you know, was with Atlanta. So we got really three great offensive minds. There is a little adjustment, yes, but I think we're in good shape with the coaches we have. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of familiarity. Um, yeah, they're teaching the same scheme. You know, maybe have some different individual drills, but um, it is. Uh, we're not making any changes schematically based on their coaches. And uh, really excited for Phil. Have a lot of confidence in him. I know Coach Zimmer does too. And still, Coach Dennison will be with us all the way. Working with Rick virtually, I know that that's something uh, Coach Zimmer said the other day. He's going to just meet with you guys, game plan during the week. But right now in training camp, are you in contact with him virtually every day? We are. Yeah, we meet uh, virtually every day as a staff with him. It's like he's in the room with us. Just we just hear his voice and we all watch film together. So we're we're figuring it out. You know, yesterday was our first day, but he's uh, he's always meeting with us. Coming on the staff, what was the connection that you guys had that kind of turned you guys on to him as a possible fit there? Yeah, you know, uh, I didn't know Ben before. I know, uh, you know, some guys on our staff and Phil had a relationship with Ben, um, so I'd let them speak to it. But I just know we're really fortunate to have him. He's been uh, he's been a real blessing thus far. He's on top of his game. We are uh, really lucky. The offensive line, those guys. I'm glad to have Ben as to help them out, help them grow. Said there won't be somebody specifically as a run game coordinator that you guys will do it collectively. What do you anticipate that looking like on a game day? Yeah, I think we're going to work together with Phil, Ben, and Rico. And regardless of who has that that uh, that title, you know, it's always a group effort. How was your time with Kirk as a quarterbacks coach? Maybe maybe ease the transition a little bit into this new role. Yeah, it definitely has made it easier, allowing me to spend more time with other position groups. Um, but now I get to, you know, be around some of those younger quarterbacks a little bit more. I trust Kirk so much, so you know, allows me to travel around a little bit more. How do you size up the competition for the number three receiving spot, especially after picking up Westbrook? Yeah, uh, a lot of great competition. Excited for for DD. It's all it's all going to unfold in front of our eyes here in the next couple of practices. So it's it's up to them, which is the fun part. It'll be very competitive. How do you evaluate KJ Osborne's growth as a receiver? I mean, he barely participated during the season as a receiver last year. Now he's getting a lot of praise. He made some plays already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he's done a great job. He had a really good spring. So he gave himself a good foundation, and now he's set up to go and, uh, and play well this fall camp. It's been one practice. Um, I am happy with his practice, and let's go stack another one together. That's what all these guys are trying to do. How big a role will the, the games versus the practices play in determining your backup quarterback? Yeah, um, it's a uh, it's a collection of all. No no real true answer there. Certainly, the, how they play in the preseason, we're going to get a feel for how they truly perform under that pressure. But uh, there's a couple of these guys have a couple of years worth of worth of video evidence that we can draw upon. So uh, it's all about how their teammates respond to them and how they perform with the lights on. That's certainly holds more weight than maybe some of these practices do, but you can't perform well on on that Sunday game unless you're unless you're on top of your game in practice. How important was it in bringing Keenan McCardell on this staff for Justin Jefferson, who have like a thoroughbred like that, to, to learn from somebody who's done it at that same level? Yeah. Um, how fortunate we were to get Keenan. You know, it was my first time meeting him. Couldn't be more pleased with him. Um, if you when you work with the guy. He would, you would never know he's a Pro Bowl receiver or a Super Bowl champion. He just he grinds and works like every other coach and puts in a lot of extra hours. He has no ego. Um, Justin and Adam and all those young receivers, Amir now, 
um, they're very fortunate to have him as a coach. And how have you seen Brian O'Neill sort of turn into the, the probably the leader of that room? What he, he kind of talks about, he doesn't see himself that way, but he is one of the older guys there. What kind of tone does he set for that group? Yeah, well, uh, you know, he's lead, he leads by example. He gets his job done. He takes care of his teammates, and uh, you know, he's just a, he's a very steady player. Uh, they all have a lot of respect for him, and we know he can get even better. Do you remember watching Keenan McCardle and Jimmy Smith battling with the Denver Broncos back in the day? I do. I was at that game, that wild card playoff game where they stunned the Broncos. Um, so that was the first thing I mentioned to him when I met him. Um, but it, it's it's really amazing how how good of a coach he is. Um, and how much time he spends at working at it. So really, couldn't couldn't say enough good things about Coach McCardle. When it comes to Ole, um, what trait did he have, I guess, to allow him to go from tackle inside to guard? Yeah, well, Ole's so athletic. Yeah, a lot of God-given ability, and he's extremely smart. He's a hard worker, and now he's going into, you know, I think probably year three for him here, and uh, same scheme, and it's just coming together for him at the right time. He's got some position flexibility. We're going to try him at a few different spots, playing some guard right now, but we know he can play tackle too. So really looking forward to what Ole does in this camp. For a lot of offensive linemen, you know, having long arms, that length is really good at tackle, but it can sometimes be kind of an issue at guard. Is that something that he has to overcome, or is it something that you don't see as, as an issue at all? No, I, I don't. I think, man, uh, I think he's done a great job thus far, and we got to give him a lot of reps versus our unbelievable defense, and that's going to help him progress even faster. But I think his length really helps him. You talked about players setting the foundation. How do you assess kind of the foundation you were able to set for yourself and the, and the offensive staff from the spring? Yeah, I think we can establish that in our meeting rooms. You know, we did we did that in the spring. We're doing it now. Um, so, you know, kind of set our expectations for the guys and then we're watching tape, you know, the things that we stress. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that's our time as coaches to establish that and we're using it right now. There's a lot of meeting time, but nothing, nothing's better than being out on the field with the guys. a sophomore year, it's more about handling double teams coming at you, and even though you may not be getting the ball, you're still helping your team. So that's kind of more of an emotional, physical. You know him. He seems to be built to take that on. How have you seen him so far respond to yeah. that may happen? Well, I, I haven't seen him change at all. Okay, his, his demeanor, his mindset is the same. Such a humble guy, humble, quiet worker. Um, he asks good questions, and he takes coaching and makes, he makes, you know, when he makes an error, he fixes it. He doesn't make the same mistake twice. So I haven't seen him change it often last year. So that's a great sign. And you're right, he is gonna he's get some new attention now. And uh, I just see his maturity as not being an issue and him figuring out that that is gonna help the team overall. Thank you.